I would like to show you the archive files build task introduced during Sprint 102 in Visual Studio Team Services. You can find the task under the Utilities section. You specify a root folder to archive. Specify whether or not to include the root folder in the archive paths. You have zip, 7-zip, tar, and WIM formats supported. If you select tar, you can compress it with gzip, bzip2, xz, or you could leave it as an uncompressed tar. You specify the target location, and you specify whether to uh, replace the target location with, uh, with your new archive. If you uncheck this, uh, you can add files to the existing archive. Uh, which works with zip, 7-zip, and uncompressed TARs. If you have a compressed TAR, you cannot add to it. So I'd like to, I've already got two tasks here. Um, I figured I'd archive the actual task itself uh, and show you uh, the zip format and also the, uh, the extract files, which, is, um, which was introduced last sprint. Uh, and in, th in this case, uh, we will not include the root folder, so I'll show you what that is, and we'll uh, zip it up as a tar gz. So let me go ahead and cue the build. Okay, the build's complete. So here's the first uh, archive, which uh, is a zip zip file. You can see that we, um, we included the archive files uh, directory. And you can see that we're using 7-zip, which is bundled with the task itself. So it will work on hosted builds. Now here's the second targz, uh, which we did not include the root folder. So what we did was we, um, we went one level deep into the root folder and uh, added those files. And it's a two-step process on Windows. First, we tar it, uh, and then we go ahead and gzip it. So let's, uh, let me show you what this looks like on Linux. So I'm gonna switch my build agent and queue another build. Okay, on Linux, you can see, so here's the first task. We use this, the zip command, um, and we add archive files. And then here is the tar gz, which can be done in one step on Linux. Uh, again, here's the um, expanded out paths. So I'd like to show you one other thing, which is how you can add to existing archives. So this time around, I'm gonna change this to a 7-zip, and I'm gonna rename it to both. And I'm gonna do the same for the second one. And I'm gonna include the root folder this time. And note that I have this unchecked. So let me save this and queue another build. Okay, the build is finished. So first we go ahead and we create, uh, so, so this time it's 7-zip. Um, you would need to install this on your Linux machine. Um, first, we create archive files, add it to both. And now the second task came along and realized that both already exist, so it will go ahead and add it to it. 
So that's how you can update existing archive files. Uh, thank you for watching.